Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we're going to paint a lovely seasonal flower, the cyclamen. So grab your paints and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to paint these cyclamen in little uh, nice terracotta pots. So I've just done two lines, tapered in, angled in, and we'll do a curve at the bottom, a curve at the top. And that gives us the rim of our pot. Now, um, we often have sort of cyclamen leaves bundling over the side, so we won't put in the line for the top. But what I will do is I'm just going to add a few, uh, a few little lines for our stems. And I'm going to draw in uh, two more pots just either side. So we've got three elements to this. We've got the flowers, we've got the leaves, and we've got the pots. I'm going to begin with the leaves. Um, and what I've got mixed up here is a combination of cobalt turquoise, sap green, and then a little bit of Payne's gray, just to sort of cool it off a bit and not make it too vibrant. And what I want to do is I want to cool it, uh, water it right down rather, should I, say, I should say. And because this is quite a small, small scale work, I've got a size two tenths brush and what I'm going to do is I am going to paint in these, they're rather lovely heart shaped leaves and I'm just going to start sort of scattering these about. At this point I'm painting ones that aren't touching each other because it's a very wet watercolour and my aim is for them not to bleed into each other just yet. And I've painted three. And now I'm going to edge them with a little bit. This is sap green and French ultramarine blue. Much darker, more concentrated. And I've, I've sort of found that Cyclamen leaves, uh, depending on the variety of cyclamen you've gone for, they all have a slightly different approach, but on the whole, it feels like you get an interesting edge and an interesting middle. A little darkness in the middle and around the edge. And so having left these to dry just a little bit, it means that I can paint these details in and it'll soften but it won't travel too far and you can see how these two on the side dry just a bit more so the paint travels even less which is quite good really because they are quite a sort of distinctive type of leaf so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just fill in leaves sort of all over the place uh, i'll sort of try and get a sense of where the leaves from the front pot are stretching out to just so I know that I don't have to worry about where the boundaries are for the, for the leaves behind. So you can see I'm just allowing for a tiny bit of unpainted gap just so they don't all bleed into each other too much. And then we can edge them and get a little something in the middle there as well. So there we have a lovely little set of leaves and now I'm going to move up to the flowers. Um, now I've got Opera Rose here which is my really bright bright pink and I've got my size 2 tenths brush yet again. And what I'm going to do is I am going to sort of start at the base of the flower and I'm going to press the brush down and then come up to a fine tip and I'm going to sort of do that maybe like three times for the first go and then I've got some permanent rose mixed with cadmium red and I'm just going to drop that in the base there. Cyclamen flowers are so pretty and I, I really didn't know much about them at all 
um, before it was actually one of my patrons who asked for a tutor tutorial on these and um, I'm so glad that I was asked because I think they're great fun um, and that is a feature of Patreon. Um, I'm also just going to drop in a few more flowers so you could also start from the top and work your way down to the base. I'm going to have a few knocking around a bit lower down. I don't often use opera rose very much but this is absolutely perfect for it. And what we're going to be doing once these have dried is we'll be adding another layer of petals just to sort of get the lovely sort of translucent feel. Um, and then you'll notice we've got a few bent over stems here. Those are the cyclamen that haven't quite fully opened. They're in more in bud form. So we'll pop those in once we've got all our flowers placed in. Now those have dried, I can now paint in an extra petal here and there to just add a sense of the lovely sort of abundant petals on this flower. I really enjoy painting in this sort of controlled, loose watercolour style. Um, it's always really appealed to me because just I think it really captures the essence of the of the flower with watercolour, but allows you to use fairly sort of loose techniques to sort of paint what, what seems to be a, a rather accurate flower, even though these ones are sort of in miniature. So we're not sort of thinking so much about accuracy, more as just sort of capturing the essence. So those will dry and will crisp up and we'll be able to see a lovely sort of extra little layer Okay, now I've got a mixture of alizar and crimson, a little bit of yellow ochre and a bit of Payne's grey and it comes out in a very sort of rather dark murky burgundy but it's pretty spot on for the colour of the stem of a cyclamen. So I'm going to paint them sort of so they come down in amongst the leaves. And I did also mention we have some of these bent over little little stems, so I'm going to paint in the stem. And then there's a little sepal. Which then can have a nice little faint bit of opera rose for that nice slender bud. So I'm going to fill in all of these stems and buds and then we can get on with the pots. That's a good opportunity as well to just see there may be some gaps where you want to add in a few extra flowers here and there. Now I'm just mixing up a combination of cadmium orange, a bit of yellow ochre and a bit of cadmium red for the terracotta pots. Now I always quite like a slightly grubby terracotta pot so once I've sort of put in uh, the beginnings of a wash of colour I like to sort of start to mix it up so dropping in a little bit of yellow ochre and then to kind of dry brushing my brush over it looking for little textures and things 
being quite rough with it and then getting some burnt sienna, some Payne's grey and dropping those in giving that pot a bit of a I feel that it's been sat outside so we'll we'll leave doing the rim until those have dried so we just need to be careful when painting in either side that we've given the previous one enough time to dry before there we go almost given it enough time but not quite so we'll just focus on the side a little bit more Okay, so we'll get all of these done and then the rims. So to finish off, we're focusing on the rims of the pots. So I've got a size two tenths brush now, I've gone down to that. And I'm still using the same colors, but I'm now just painting in and around the leaves. And so dry brushing, spreading it down and I'm going to be using more of the shadowy tones and getting sort of right up in there. So there's also going to need to be a little bit of shadow on the pot, sort of where the leaves are really coming down over. So we'll be adding some sort of proper shadow right at the end. So to finish off, I'm going to get some Payne's Grey and we're going to begin first with a nice dilute amount and we'll sort of place some just sort of underneath. like that and just sort of angling the brush quite low to the page and then I'll go for a slightly smaller brush and maybe just a tiny bit more colour to first sort of pop in some shadow onto the pots And what's quite nice is the shadow can be a little bit rough on the pots as well because of the sort of dry, dry brushing technique there. And then yeah, just sort of find where the leaves are. Imagine sort of sun over the top. we go. There you have pots of cyclamen. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that one. I want to say a massive thank you to my patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. And if you never want to miss another video, just hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell and we will see you again next time. Bye!